Fairfax County, we have two law enforcement agencies, one both the police department and the sheriff's office. Uh, we both go through the same academy. The police department takes primary duties over all criminal actions, and we take primary duties over all civil, civil actions. The civil enforcement section is in, actually in charge of uh, serving and executing all civil process documents that come out of the courthouse. Now that's to include uh, tax documents, uh, collection of back taxes, uh, as well as eviction procedures, uh, protective orders, everything along those lines. Our areas are divided up in uh, geographical areas based off of civil uh, responses and process that needs to be served. Currently we have 15 civil areas. Those areas include the town of Herndon, the town of Vienna, Fairfax City, uh, the town of Clifton, and um, any military institutions within Fairfax confines of Fairfax County. My name is Deputy Cart. I've been with the Fairfax County Sheriff's Office for 11 years and I've been in civil enforcement section for seven years. The first thing I do in the morning, uh, I go to the courthouse, uh, retrieve my papers for the day, and I'll start doing a, a routing, kind of like a, a, the mail would do. Uh, roughly, we served approximately um, 100,000 documents last year between 15 to 16 deputies. Um, it keeps us, keeps us very busy. Anybody can serve a document 18 years old and not affiliated to a case, but in order to execute a document, you have to have the legal authority granted by the Code of Virginia. Whether it's to be taking property or whether it's to be taking children from one parent to another, whether it's being evicting someone from their homes or something like that. Every document we serve has a um, propensity for violence, um, but one of the more interesting things that we have to deal with are executing uh, e evictions. The eviction process is a lengthy process. Uh, there are several steps involved and it does take several months to actually go from the filing uh, for the writ and actually executing the eviction. We have to post a document at least 72 hours prior to us being there. By doing that, that makes us time and place predictable uh, versus, and that allows for some officer safety issues. They know what day you're coming and they know what time you're coming. We do encounter individuals uh, that refuse to leave or don't want to leave. Uh, unfortunately, when the sheriff shows up to do the eviction, it's not, it's not an option. Uh, it, it is a court order signed by a judge. So they, you, you, they have to leave regardless. And that, whether they go with us, uh, if we have to effect an arrest to execute the order, then that's what we'll do. You're going into places where you possibly could be ambushed or anything else. Some of the folks that we evict um, are really good folks and they're just down and out on their luck based off the economy and things like that. When we show up and uh, residents don't have anywhere to go or any family members in the area, there's several government uh, resources that are available to them and they're actually on the eviction notice that we give them. Uh, so they can call those numbers and the county will help them out with finding a place to stay, finding resources, even if it's for a brief amount of time. And a lot of times the county will even provide financial support. One of the resources that the Sheriff's Office has worked with on a, on a regular basis and sometimes daily and weekly is the Domestic Violence Action Center. Uh, we're basically the enforcement side of the courts and they're the coaching side of the courts. And the Domestic Violence Action Center is a co-located service center. Uh, we are at the historic courthouse in Fairfax and it's a partnership with both county and nonprofit agencies. Our relationship with the Sheriff's Office involves cross-training. These deputies are out there serving the protective orders and so informing them of the resources in the county. They also uh, will come to us and provide training about their process of serving a protective order, which is extremely helpful by understanding their process and understanding the protective order service, then we're able to safety plan with clients. Uh, we all have the urge and the desire to help. We still have a job to do and we can't vary or differ from that but we can provide assistance. Sometimes this is the first step in getting things taken care of and allowing other people to start taking responsibilities for their actions. In Fairfax County, with it being so large, over a million residents, law enforcement does need all the help that we can get from the community. So we're always out there. You can always come up to us with questions, ask us anything you need. We, we want to have that interaction between law enforcement and the community. It just builds a stronger bond for everybody.